Hi everyone, it's Gail, back with some more Christmas collage, altered book, off we go. And before we start, we're going to say hi and hugs to JJ with Joy, Lorraine, Nana's Heart for Art, I love that name, I think that's so cute, Winsong Walters. Thank you so much for watching my channel and for your comments. Okay, <clears throat> you guys are so smart. I put this on here. I didn't even see the 25, but all of you did. And so we are going to do something. I, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but we're going to do something to sort of highlight that 25. And so I grabbed, I had this um, leftover piece of Stamperia and I thought it kind of went with the pink. There's also this one. This one, which is just pink, pink. I think I might try that one. Okay, so here's my idea. Um, first, I'm going to punch out a little, a little dot. We'll save that for who knows what. I'll put it in my put it in my little scrap bin. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. That I think that's like a one inch circle. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't say. So I don't know for sure. I think this one might be about a one and a half. So my thought was, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> um, 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 um. Let's see. I just need to cut that off a little bit. Um. I want to, I don't know. I want to go like this and have it be in the middle. So I need a little more off. There we go. Perfection. Okay, so now we have a round a round circle and I was thinking of just putting that there. So that's option number one. So we made that. So we've got an idea we've got an idea if nothing else works. Okay, so I think it will make a difference if I just outline that a little bit with a little bit of distressing. Okay, now I don't know how to get on the inside. Oh, that worked. Okay. Yes, that makes it stand out a bit more. But then I also thought I have these little bitty, um, these little bitty doilies that I got in Happy Mail. Let me grab my little punch back again. I'm wondering about punching a hole out of the middle of those or something. Let's see what that does. It might really stand out against the cream color of the bingo card. So if I can get that in there. This is tricky. Sorry, that's gross. I'm licking my finger, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Oh, look at that. I did it. Well, it's not perfect, but it's okay. So that's cute. I wonder if I could kind of offset them. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. I want to just kind of do the edges of this. And I think this is a job for art glitter glue, don't you? Oh, goodness. So, let's see. We're just going to kind of go like that, I think. Hey, I like that. I like the kind of, um, what would you say, frilliness of the doily. I'm going to put a 
little bit of glue there. Of course, I didn't get in the right spot. Close, I guess. Close, but no cigar. I don't know if that's a saying everywhere, but <laughs> it is here. <laughs> okay, so those two pieces are together. Now we'll just put art glitter glue around our circle. A little bit. A little bit on the doily and then we just need to get it where we want it which is about right there I think that's where it's gonna go cuz that's where I stuck it okay well that's happy right I like that that's really fun okay so had to get that had to get that taken care of, you know. There's these things that need to be need to be taken care of. I, I'm looking at this going, do I want to I think I'm gonna leave it for now. I kind of was thinking about outlining that a little bit, but I don't know. So we are we are to this page which opens this way. And then, and then we're done, we need to tear out some more pages. So my idea for this page is I would like to do um, my, my brand new cage, <laughs> cage belly band, which I don't know if it's new, but it's the first time I've thought of doing it. So we need some papers for the back. Um, this is rather heavy cardstock and it's almost the size of the page, so I think I might use it for the belly band. But we need to find digitals that go nicely with it. So I'm thinking we're going to go antique papery today. I just was thinking, I think yesterday's video, I forgot to link Crafty Cat. I gotta, I gotta check that. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. My mind's going in multiple directions. Okay. So. Okay. I like this one. I like, I like this because we're not really, because we're going to cover it up somewhat. So we don't want anything, too, nothing too adorable. Just a general print is what we need. We can't have, I can't be covering up Santa. You guys will never let me live it down. My, um, cutting him off at the ankles is, <laughs> is bad enough, isn't it? Oh, poor Santa. Oops. I think Santa gets it. It's all in the name of art, right? <laughs> So I, I was reading in our paper today, they had a little thing on um, sleep and relaxation. Guess what? Guess what one of the recommendations was? It was to do crafts. Saying that it puts you in a, in a happy place, it de-stresses and all of that kind of stuff. So I thought that was kind of cool course whoever wrote the article has never watched a particularly inspiring YouTube video right before bed <laughs> and then laid there crafting in their sleep all night right <laughs> but I loved it that 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 was that was one of the recommendations I thought and then they also said that going for walks helps your creativity so i need to get my tushy out of my craft chair and go for walks with my husband i, I that's what i took from that okay so we're going to cover this with this one and i'm really loving you know all these um things that i printed out i printed out on just plain copy paper Nothing, you know, not the um, presentation paper or the 
matte photo paper because it's nice and thin. And then when you put it on your page, you're not bulking it up quite so much. Granted, my little book is getting nice and chubby as we speak, but so I'm going to start doing two videos a day because next week we have to be gone to take care of grandbabies. I think I've told you that. So today's my first day of doing two videos. So I'm, I'm going back and forth on what I should do for my second one. I'm thinking about either doing the cover of this or I'm also on my other table, I'm working on my Artie Mays um, design team journal. So I don't know, but I thought maybe a little, a little break in the action here. I don't know what you guys think. Oh, hello, there's another page right there that we have to do, let alone this page. Okay, so where do I want this? I think I'm gonna do this page because I obviously had forgotten it. And let's see, we have Crafty Cat, Tsunami Rose, and then we go over to just, yeah. So I think it's a good time to put that. I've kind of been trying to mix up the people that I'm that I'm doing. I will bind that once I once I get this down. Oh, and I know what else I wanted to do. I wanted to put stencil on that one piece of writing paper. So many ideas that I forget what I've thought of. <laughs> Oh, so I had a lovely lunch yesterday with my girlfriends for celebrating two of their birthdays, and that was that was really fun. Um, went to the Chinese restaurant and it was yummy. So our next gathering is for Christmas, a little Christmas thing. So that'll be fun. Okay, so this is where we're gonna put our cage, our cage um, belly band. And I'm thinking, I just, you know, when I did it for my design team project for Blue Fern, I used the strips, the brand strips on the bottom of 12 by 12 paper. But I'm thinking if I do like, what, a half an inch maybe? It might be a little, I think three quarters of an inch. Nope. Between a half and three quarters of an inch. That's going to be about right. So we're just going to make, I'm going to make four of these. Okay, so now I'll stick that over there, get rid of this, and I am going to clip my pages for this little bit of work, my smart ladies. Please don't think I was upset about <laughs> all the suggestions to bind, I, I need all the help I can get, but it was just hilarious because like every, <laughs> every uh, comment was that I needed to do that. <laughs> okay. And I was worried because I felt like it annoyed y'all. So I don't want to be annoying. Although my husband might say that that's a perpetual state. I don't know. Okay. That's about where I want them. So we're just going to start gluing and adjust from there. So I'm just gonna glue the tops. That's what I'm gonna do here. I 
it's like right there. It's probably good. Is that straight? Well, now it is, I think. Okay, next. I thought about distressing the edges of these, but then I thought, well, a couple of them aren't even going to hardly show, so I think it's just fine. I think we'll just line up the bottom because it's closer to my eyeballs. Okay. So our cable man came and fixed our TV yesterday. That was so nice. And now <laughs> I see that the truck is across the street today. Um, I think the guy said that some of our, you know, like our neighborhood, the box or whatever that services our neighborhood needed some work. It's like, okay, you're welcome neighbors that we got him up here to do something like that. Okay. Okay, we've got our, oops. Got our cage. So now what we'll what we'll need to do is make either make or grab out of the ephemera box a journaling card to go in and out in and out of our cage. But let us finish this because I was looking wouldn't this be cute here with this little girl I think it would okay so I'm gonna just cut it right about there man that's a fun strip to use somewhere alrighty um distressing Oh, then I had another idea. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe we'll do that because I kind of had an idea of what might be fun to put in that and it just popped back into my head. Okay, I don't know, the ho, ho, ho. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> That's not going to work <laughs> because when I fold it down, it's just going to say, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're going to save that for another page. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Yep. Yep. Glad I got that. <laughs> Okay, let's use this page. How about? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't need to offend anyone, but but that's just not gonna do on that Christmas show. Oh goodness. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You're getting a glimpse of my somewhat wacky sense of humor. Okay. Okay. Well, now I got tears in my eyes again. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. Oops. Hung up on my book. Sometimes my 18 inches is just quite not enough to be working with, you know? But that little girl's going to look just adorable. And so, let's see. I can just use this to measure. Okay, we'll just, we have another page just all ready to go. This is the lovely thing about this whole situation. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my goodness, oh my goodness.
goodness. I just need to turn that over because I'm going to giggle every time. Okay. Now, I could actually probably cut some off of this. It might go up above. I don't know. Let's, let's see what we see how we do here. Okay, so this is going on the bottom pocket. We did a double one on this page. See, we did this one and then this one on this page. So this is like, really, I could go right about there. Just fill that with my thinners and then Okay, and then what I'm thinking is that will go right there. And then I don't know what we'll put on here, but maybe that strip that we took tore off. Okay, let's glue this. <laughs> oh, get it together, Gail. Okay. I've got like a little piece of paper or something there that just keeps getting into my into what I'm doing okay and we're gonna just glue this whole thing because we'll go over the edge oops line up with that with that other page bottom and we're just gonna flip right over here and we're gonna just put some glue on this guy to keep it down Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that sweet little person. Okay. Where's my, there it is. And then this will just go right here. Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay. And I did clean up a little bit on my table, so it's not quite as bad as it was. Oh my goodness, it was driving me crazy. Okay, I need to mostly make sure I cover that. Okay, there we go with that one. Okay, now we just have this strip, and I don't know that... I'm not sure that this guy's going to be thick enough, or is it? It is actually going to be thick enough. Okay. So we'll just give it a little ink. And use up a scrap. That's always good, huh? I did yesterday after the lunch work at my other table and did some more journal cards. I haven't gotten them sewn yet, so that's why I haven't shown them to you. But maybe today, because it is cold outside here. And so, I intend to be in my craft room all day. That's what I intend. Alrighty, let's see. We'll just, yep, we'll just put that right down there. And then we'll clip off the extra. I'm going to glue the whole thing and get my scissors gluey because I'm not sure where it ends. So that's okay though. Let's see. Let's go. This is 
this way. Just might be a little easier. I don't know. Okay. Okay, you're going to be tricky to cut off, aren't you? We did it. It was tricky, but we did it. Okay, now we'll cut off this side, which should be fairly easy to do. Good, 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 good. Okay, I think we can unglue this for a minute, undo that. Okay, you know what? This is just annoying me so it is going to get cut off okay so now we have a double pocket there isn't that fun okay let's do some inking on this before we get our glue down and we might as well just do the edges Doesn't matter if you get um, on the other pages because they're all inked too, you know, on the edge. So that's no biggie. Okay, so there's our base. There's there's what we're working with right there. Okay, so we are going to um, glue down that pocket. And then I'm going to show you what I was thinking of putting. Oh, got to do this yet. Sorry about that. Gotta do this. Get this guy down. Let me just get out of our way. Just lay down right there. Okay. And we'll just go. On this way, and down here, and then what I want to do is take my book and close it, kind of, so that the pages line up evenly. Okay, and then we'll do this one. Gosh, I can't believe that piece of paper. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Okay, and then we're going to just close it and get it all evened up. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now I'm excited to show you what I have to just grab it for just one second. Um, not sure which one I want. I was thinking about my embossing, my 3D embossing folders, and I was thinking I might like to put an envelope in there, and I have a bunch of them pre-embossed, because I was thinking, maybe that one, um, oh, I really like that one, okay, um, what I was thinking is, then, like, you could put receipts in there or whatever. Um, I'm going to grab my Inca Gold and I'll be right back. Sorry guys, I had to dig a little bit because I wanted to get the red and the green and the gold. Now the gold is on my favorite things on my website um, under Gail's favorite things. And so you can go to that and then you can see the other colors and get them on Amazon if you want. 
Okay, this is a little overkill. I think I need my smaller spray bottle. Let me grab that, which is right here. Okay, so the thing is with Inca Gold is um, when you buy it, it's really nice and creamy and just awesome to work with. Well, my Inca Golds are at least six years old, and so they're all dry. And um, But you just spray a little water in them and they kind of reactivate so um so i better put something under me um so i just want to just rub a little green and a little red on this and see see what we get kind of so i'm gonna do that start with the green because this um this embossing folder had um, kind of uh, it's kind of leaves and little like little flowers type stuff, and so I'm thinking it might look a little bit like holly. So you just put a little water in there, and I just use I just use my fingers, and I'm just gonna go over these leaves. And just bring out that embossing a little more. And over here. Okay. Um, I think down here we'll just do green too. these leaves a little bit. Okay, so, oh, a little bit up here too. Okay, so, and I think I'll just do the front. The back I'm just going to leave plain. So this was a coffee dyed envelope that I ran through my, um, Tim Holtz Vagabond, which is an embosser, and I use 3D embossing folders. The Vagabond and the 3D embossing folders are also on Gail's Favorite Things, if you want to check those out. Okay, so now I'm going to get a baby wipe and just to wipe off my fingers so that the colors don't mix. Okay, and then let's do a little bit of red. Just in spots where, so you can see how it was when it was creamy and now it's hard as a rock, but just have to reactivate it a little bit with some water and it's just fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda plop onto those. Oh, there they are. Where else? Maybe here a little bit. Sorry, I got real quiet there, didn't I? Okay, let me put it right there. Let's put 
much. Okay, so did that. Now I just want to do some gold. Just because, let's see, these can go sit up here. Make sure I don't mix my colors. Gold was the first one I got. Look at that, it's such a mess. But, but she still works, she still works. Okay, so I wanted to go around the edge with the gold. Okay, and then I think I'd like to just kind of roughly go over this just to bring out because there is embossing in the middle too. stuff is just fun to play with. It just really is. And it really kind of brings it to life, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, enough fussing about. Let's, the other thing I was hoping to do with this is maybe um, put one of Jen's little sentiments in the middle that was my other thought okay so did that did that did that get rid of all that get rid of this let that dry off a little bit let's look at jen's sentiments how are we doing time wise <clears throat> good 20 more minutes um just to see what might go in there Nicely. That's it. Right there. That is it. Oh my gosh, I think that's so cute. I'll hold it up to the camera here as soon as we get this put on. I think I'm going to... Because it is embossed, I think I'm going to use art glitter glue rather than glue stick just um, to make sure it gets down in the creases. Okay. Make sure I'm doing going right side up. <laughs> That'd be just like me. Get in the middle. Ish. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love that. That's so fun. Let me show you up close. Isn't that fun? And then, you know, you can just put some little receipts in there or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so my thought was to put this in the cage belly band if it's wide enough. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to stick it down in one of the. Oh, yeah, that's the one thing. It does kind of sometimes it goes all the way through. So 
This is a tender little envelope. Okay, we can put that. I think we'll put that back here and put something in front of it. So not a ton of it shows, but but it's still cute right there. Okay, so we need a um, we need a journaling card to go in there, and I was thinking of these big guys, but I don't know if there's anything color wise. And they all come out of their frames, so nope, 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 nope. What about some of these? These were pinks and stuff. I think this will work if I do a little, do a little distress ink magic on it. Because, you know, just a little white for me. Okay, that's good. Oh. I'm still going to need that because I'm going to go around the edges of it. Perfect. This will be great. And then maybe we can find something in here that can go in the pocket too. Oh, cute. Okay. So the the idea with the caged the cage belly band, which I couldn't come up with a better name than that, so is to go in and then over, like under, over, under, over, you know, and then over, and then it just just has a little bit of a different look about it. I just think it's kind of fun. So there we go. There is that. Okay, so now we need something for this pocket, don't we? Let's look in this little bag of tricks to see if there's something. I was looking at this. I'm wondering about this without this. And how far, yeah, because that would go down in there. Maybe we'll just cut this part off. Stick that back in the bag. And I like the glitter. That's fun. then that can go down in there. And I like how the black kind of brings out the black of her basket. Okay, well there is that page. It also kind of ties into these, doesn't it? Fun. Okay. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, we've got 15 minutes. So... Okay. So we do have this, but maybe we'll take our time and get some more pages prepared. How about that? So we have a top and a side. Um, maybe we'll do one of these. Let's do one of those. So, yeah, so we just need one page and then we'll tear out. And I'm gonna tear out, so, okay, this is our, this is our side pocket here. So I'm gonna keep a page and I'm gonna tear, I think I'm gonna tear out 10. Ugh, it's just getting so fat that I think I need to. <laughs> Somebody said, Gail counting the pages. Did that remind you of the count on Sesame Street? 
Well, it is the 50th anniversary of Sesame Street. So maybe that's what I was doing, was just giving a little shout out to the Sesame Street gang. They sure enhanced my children's childhood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm talking instead of counting seven. Eight, eight altered book pages. Nine, nine discarded book pages. 10, 10 pages to be made into journal cards. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty good. Get a little bit out of there. Okay, so this one, we're gonna turn down this way, just for fun. So that's gonna be that one. So then, let's just see. I'm, I'm, instead of coming up with new ideas, I'm just sort of repeating. Okay, that was a side, that was a top. This, how about just a single pocket, like we did, okay. So we have that page. So we keep a page, right? Am I right? Yep. Keep a page and we're gonna take out 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then this is the other side. So we've got that pocket, and then I'm going to just do one of these kind of pockets here do that there okay and then save one okay we're getting to the end so what I like to do at the end oh usually there's some blank pages but there isn't in this one so okay but we definitely want to keep that I'm gonna keep about four pages at the back just because I want the um, spine to stay stay good. Okay, so this is our keep. This, and let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Okay, so we want to keep that and we want to keep this. So I'm just going to clip that so we know. And then we're just going to take out these pages. And we'll see how our book's going to lay now. that little bit of tear keeps the spine in intact instead of like having the spine go all bad on you. Okay. And that one. Okay. I think this last one we'll just do as a as a top loading pocket. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to, let's see, I clip it after usually. Okay, let's, let's just glue this so I know what I'm doing here. Okay, so you have your torn pages in the middle. This is gonna be top loading, so we're just gonna glue the bottom. and up the side. Like so. 
so I'm gonna pull the book up so that my pages line up as good as they can. Okay, see that's flattened it out quite a bit. So that's good. All right, so we've got what? We've got one, two, three, four more spreads and then the, the loose papers to deal with. Um, one of the things I wanted to do, if we've got a few minutes, and we do, I'm gonna get rid of the pages. Put those down with these. And we are going to, um, here, I was thinking it'd be fun to have a little stencil right there. So let's see what we have here. That might go in that little corner. I don't want, of course, you can write over the top of it, so that'll be good, but, um, got Santa, ooh, there's a pretty deer, ooh, I think I'll do the deer, yeah, let's do that one. Gosh, we're getting there, guys, on this. Maybe we'll just center that, huh? Okay. And I think I want to use red. Ah! Oh, guys, I just dropped it under my sewing machine. Oh, my goodness. That's a big stretch for this girl. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, we're just going to give this a little... Love the snowflakes too. Just gonna kind of move my hand over to the side here, trying to make it so you can see, but still, I can do my thing here. Okay. Okay. Now, what I want to do is go back with my vintage photo and go kind of go over the deer's body. One more leg. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's fun. Yes. Thank you, Peggy, for these wonderful, these wonderful um, stencils. They're super fun to play with. Look at how pretty is that. I love that so much. He's just wonderful. Okay, so then there's a fun little... Oh, his little feet. It's like somebody's under there. <laughs> okay, so we did. We did our cage belly band. We did a fun little embossed envelope. We got our bingo card circled wherever it may live, right there. You know, I still, it's bugging me. I need to do something with it. Just doing a messy line around. Okay, that's better. Kind of want to go around this too. I'm a doodler at heart. Love to doodle. Haven't done much of it on camera. Probably should do that, huh? And then let's just go around this guy too. There, he just stands out more. Okay, so did that? Did the 
did the page and did this and we have the rest of our book ready so maybe what I'll do is try and get myself together as far as a cover for this and maybe we'll do that in the next video so thanks everybody so much for watching and we will just see you next time have a grateful day bye bye